One of the things I want the men to hear today, from me and from anybody who's speaking, is that it's not just about you. It's about all these people, the dozens, maybe the hundreds of men, women, boys, and girls that you influence on a regular basis. See, men are the portal to so many relationships, and yet we bypass them because they're hard to figure out, they're hard to engage, we don't quite know what to do with them. So in church life, we just skip them. The men are left on the sidelines just watching as spectators. God never intended men to be spectators. He intended them actually to be the leaders of their home, of their church, and of their community. So we speak to men as leaders because God speaks to men as leaders. What does it mean to be a man? What does it mean to take courage and initiative? What does it mean to resist passivity? What does it mean to accept responsibility? When we are weak, he is strong. That's in his word, you know, and that's what I bank on. I put my faith in his word and not man. Because there is an epidemic where men are checking out on the most important assignment in our life. It just lifts you up. For a man, you need support today. And, and, and you're not going to get all the support you need in your church at times. So you go outside to the full body of Christ. Mm -hmm.